Uh, the first reports came from the government, the Libyan government, saying that British airplanes had attacked Sarir oil field. But on the contrary, we're also hearing from the rebels saying that actually uh, Colonel Gaddafi's forces are to blame. And if we look at the map, we can put this in some sort of geographical context. And you'll see Sarir oil field just southeast of Benghazi there. Now, up until this point, although it's been pretty fluid, the sort of rebel stronghold has been something like that in the east of the country. So Sarir oil field would be well within that. Now, today, significantly, um, the rebels managed to export oil from uh, Tobruk, which has always been well within their stronghold, right up on the eastern border uh, with Egypt. And it was a tanker that can carry around uh, 100 uh, million US dollars worth of oil if indeed it was completely full and it would mark quite a major shift because obviously the income uh, they can get from that. I, th I think what is sort of confusing me is you've got to wonder why uh, for starters British, air British airplanes would um, come in from their bases uh, in Italy and take out an oil field. It would mark a very different change in tactics and equally you have the question of how do the Libyan government know that they were British airplanes? Um, simply because they will be releasing their missiles from quite some distance. OK, they do have different wing shapes to the French and other coalition planes, but unless you have uh, an eyewitness account, then it's very hard to verify. It's an important area, the area we're looking at. It's called the Cert Basin, and it covers something like that. And this is where 80% of... Uh, Libya's oil comes from and that is why we've seen so much fighting sort of along this area here around the towns of Brega as you can see on the map Raslanouf, Bin Jawad and the front line has been pushing back and forth so I think until we get confirmation from either side or indeed I suppose if there were British planes the Ministry of Defence then it's hard to say either way and if it was British planes involved or even any other NATO planes involved you're not likely to know until they're back safe at base uh, and then really essentially press, press release is released uh, as and when.